What's up guys, it's on my DT, um, doing a new video in a new place, um, same double chin though, so, some things don't change. <laughs> Alright, just kidding, um, so guys, I'm in my new office, I don't know how the acoustics sound, it's even a hard word for me to say, um, my light bulb's not very bright, um, it looks like something's in the background, probably going to give people seizures, but it's just because um, the ceiling fan, whatever you want to call it, just not screwed in tight enough. This is a new house I just bought, so don't blame it on me, even though I probably won't tighten it myself because I'm lazy. But guys, we got 14 blister packs of Vivid Voltage, my favorite set. I'm super excited. Um, Vivid Vol th or this would be about almost half a booster box. So um, even though it's the prints don't run the same, I'm hoping that we could at least maybe get at least one amazing rare. Um, you know, some full art trainers is what I'm looking at. Um, just some good pulls in general, guys. Because um, um, like I said, Vivid Voltage is my favorite set. Um, Um, so really like on the amazing rares, I've actually only pulled Rayquaza, and I've actually pulled three of them. Um, probably an opening, I want to say I've opened close to 100 packs of the voltage. Um, it's a, it's really one of the best sets that they've released. I'm kind of hoping that, um, uh, that Evolving Skies and some of the newer sets are just as good as it. Um, you know, uh, it did run into some print problems. Um, guys, here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to sh 14 packs. I don't want to make a long video. I usually go like this, but, um, you know, where I'm kind of doing this format. I don't have a top-down camera. Um, I'm just going to make maybe a little comments on if I um, get anything nice from the or so nice little pickup here reverse hollow charmander i'll keep that the kids really like that and then what do we have here oh we got the dawn fan non hollow um guys i even feel sleazy honestly nowadays about um not showing if it's a green card or not and whatever i mean i know we all want to get the the most out of our packs, but sometimes, you know, it's just not in the cards. <laughs> um, I know, guys, a lot has changed since I first started um, doing these Pokemon videos. I mean, one of the things is, like, even though I'm more knowledgeable, um, you know, and I've learned so much about uh, Pokemon and, and kind of accelerated open a card store and stuff like that, which sounds goofy, uh, when, you know, um, well, it's almost been, it's almost two years ago now that I really got into Pokemon itself, but we got the white code card boys. That means we're in for something good. Um, but yeah, since I started two years ago, things have changed, like, um, even where we're at in general. So we got the psychic energy, um, like I said, I'll go to the reverse hollow just because I don't want to keep us waiting. Okay. All right, reverse hollow. Oh, hollow genesect. Not what I was hoping for, boys, but you know, can't always complain. I'm going to go ahead and sleeve this while we're um, here, just because I feel like that's the best way to do the process. Um, this video is going to be long, just where I have to go through opening the blister and the pack and then going through the cards and everything like that, but you, you guys understand. Um, I've noticed kind of a meta on YouTube now that um, the long form um, of these videos has really started to die. So I got the green code card, so I'm not going to um, 
waste your guys' time. I'll let you know the reverse hollow that I got. We got the Delmise reverse hollow, and then surprise, surprise, we got the Dawn Fan rare. I always want to put an I in there, like Don, Donna Fam, but it's Don Fam, just D O N P H A N. And guys, uh, I apologize for my monotone voice. It's just really um, weird to be in my house and uh, doing a video because I couldn't do it in my um, previous abode. Um, and so, like, I just have this hush tone because I'm like, I'm going to wake someone up, I'm going to do something. So, um, you know what? I'm going to try to get crunkaroni for you boys and girls aronis. I'm begging, begging strips. Guys, another green code card. We are not getting a whole lot of luck, so let me go through it again. A reverse hollow league staff, not too bad. Um, and then the rare Sinrot. Which I think, guys, in the new um, Breath of the Wild, well, it's not like an actual Breath of the Wild um, game, but the, the Pokemon, I think uh, the Arceus one, uh, it's going to be like Breath of the Wild. I'm super excited for it, even though I don't know the name. It's just, it's a while off, so I haven't thought about it recently. Um, I think Samurott um, is going to be one of the... Uh, or maybe, you know, not Samurai, but uh, Oshawott um, is going to be one of the starter Pokemon uh, is what I think the uh, um, theory is because it's a Samurai. Um, I can't remember what the other ones were, but they all like represented some, some kind of uh, Japanese reference. Um, goodness me, guys. Um, I will tell you, I bought these from Walmart, and so, um, I usually don't buy any cars from Walmart, because I just can get them myself for a lot cheaper. Um, but, you know, you just don't see a whole lot of Vivid Voltage, uh, around anymore, and I just realized it's probably because it was re the new print, and I just don't think the pull rates would be good. Oh, I already messed up. I did the card trick, but... Um, like I said, I'll go through again. I like to uh, separate all the cards, so that's some of the time it takes. But Magnera, um, Reverse Hollow, nothing special. Um, I don't really know why. I mean, that's just a kind of obscure Pokemon. Um, but Dreadnought, kind of a one of the Pokemon that um, uh, I actually. Um, a newer one that I enjoy. Um, I don't know. I always kind of have a, well, I don't want to say a soft spot for water Pokemon because, you know, I don't always like, you know, water Pokemon or is my favorite. Um, I feel like, um, for most gens, it would be. So I'm trying to think. Um, well, I mean, this isn't really the time or the place, but like Gen 1, Charmander to Charizard, although like I do, like, I think Gen 1's kind of hard because really there's not a single time that, I don't like Ivysaur and Venusaur. So like Bulbasaur's, like all three starters are fire. Um, Another green card, guys. What's up with that? Um, but, like, Blastoise and Charizard are just tremendously better. Um, Genesect Reverse Hollow. And the Lucario Rare. But yeah, so then, but like Gen 2, easily, 
um, Totodile, number one. Um, Cyndaquil, I don't like it. I like, um, I don't even remember what the second one is, but Typhlosion is, is dope. Um, just the name itself. Um, but Cyndaquil, mm, I don't like it. Um, Totodile is all cool all the way up to Feraligator, even though I don't really like how old they kind of make Feraligator look. Um, but I, I honestly have a soft spot for Chikorita too, but I, I know for most people it's not the most popular. Um, and I would say nine times out of ten I, I like it, but oh, God, these, these pulls are atrocious. Look, another green code card. Go through. I mean, the only reason I'm kind of enjoying this right now is because I'm kind of seeing um, um, the different pulls and stuff like that. I get the reverse hollow, the regular rare hollow, the uh, and the or not the regular rare, but yeah, like the rare hollow rare, and then just the regular rare is pretty interesting. Um, but I did get shift tree as my rare. Um, uh, I don't know why, but like um, I think shift you get. So it's like C dot and then Nuzleaf um, and then Shift Tree at like level 35. And if I remember correctly, he was like super overpowered um, in the original Sapphire and Ruby. And um, he was actually, believe it or not, um, one of the Pokemon I really used the most, even over um, over the starters. Um, you know, even. Um, Gen 3, like, if you think about it, what's kind of crazy is, like, how, like, you know, Gen 1, I feel like, has the most rounded off starters, um, but then even, like, Gen 3 kind of, it's weird, it kind of the same for me, like, I know Mudkip was insanely popular, especially around the release of, um, Ruby and Sapphire, um, uh, I know, like, Torchic specifically, and, uh, the Evolve version, I don't remember, but, but Lazykin is, is popular, um, the Trico and his uh, evolved form Septile. I mean, I know there are some uh, weird fans now. So I got a white code card, and I just have to show you this. I wouldn't normally do it this way, but here's the C dot when we were just talking about the shift tree. So that was kind of a a nice little coincidence. All right, see what we get. Ooh, fire energy, boys. This pack's going to be fire. I can't see from this far, so that's the only reason. Um, Crocolot. Escadrill. I guess you guys can't see either, so maybe I'll put it closer and then we'll do it. Oh, Bay or B. I don't know. Is that Bay? Is she Bay? <laughs> um, guess I shouldn't do that so we get the focus, but C dot. Pick a peck. Mudbury. Joltik. I don't know why I like its name. I don't know if I like the Pokemon. Weedle. Ooh, the reverse hollow Samurott. Ooh, then the hollow Leon. Actually, for a hollow, this is low key pretty fire. Um, it is just such a. I mean, I don't know if you guys can see it because I know I don't have the best lighting in here. Um, I had a light bulb, but, um, but yeah, like, just, like, look at that. Like, it looks like the actual lights are moving. Um, that's something you don't see very often. Uh, kind of like that double, like a double use. Like, not only is it a hollow for the card, um, but it's also, like, the spotlights of the stadium. So, it's really very clever. Like, God, like, talk about putting in love because it'd been just so easy to make it a normal hollow like where it was just normally shiny and put no extra effort into doing that and and they did because god that's why i love the poke i mean it's like if anyone else is a nerd and loves ips right the reason why i love pokemon so much and i will continue to love it whether it's financially uh i don't want to say financially Whatever, but like, I can do it as a job or not, as it just becomes a hobby again. Um, is because it, they they love it too. Like, it's not just a, a cash cow. 
all the things that all the IPs that I've loved, World of Warcraft, um, other green code card guys. So I'm just gonna skip through this pack. Um, I'll let you know what the Reverse Hollow is. Is normal. Ooh, Dusclops, another Gen 3 Pokemon that I um, have really started to like, and then a Graplot, which is also a newer Pokemon that I kind of like. And the Psychic Energy, so I should have known it was going to be no bueno. But yeah, like, you know, I've loved World of Warcraft, I've loved, uh, you know, tons of other IPs through the time that you really get attached to, and... You know, those companies, they, they're they cash cows. They're no one, I'm not saying that no one that works for Blizzard um, loves World of Warcraft, but Blizzard, Activision Blizzard does not love World of Warcraft. It's, it's about, um, it's literally just a ATM to fund other games, other mobile games. You know what I'm saying? It's, uh, that's, that's where it's at. And, uh, you know, Pokemon is used to fund Pokemon. Um, everything they do. All right, guys, another code card. So it's picking up some luck here. So that's three white code cards now with this pack to five uh, green. So that's not not an awful ratio. Not a great one. Um, upside down. So we got the fighting energy. Ooh, we got Nessa. One of my the most expensive card I've actually pulled from this set was the Rainbow Rare Nessa. So there's the Nuzleaf that we were talking about. There's the Water Energy, or Wish Wash Energy, sorry. Uh, Dust School, Pharaoh Seed. I always forget how to say that one. It's like uh, Ryolu, I think. Whatever his name is. Wallamer. Verse Hollow Manetric. Cool, cool, cool artwork. And we got the another electric Pokemon. I think that's Zara Zora. Pretty interesting. Hmm. This is not actually too bad. I, I could see some kind of one off deck that would actually work with this. So. Uh, the skill is Fighting Lightning, uh, it's one Electric Energy, um, one uh, Colorless Energy, so you know, two, in this case, two Electric Energy. I don't know if there's a special uh, Electric Energy that you could use to um, buff this or not, but it's Fighting Lightning, it's a 30 plus, um, and then the text reads, if your opponent's active Pokemon is a Pokemon V or Pokemon GX, this attack does 80 uh more damage. Um, so that's 110 damage on um, on two, um, I hate to say it, but two energy, I almost said two mana. Uh, and I'm sure there's like some people who really play the card game that were going to be like, cringe, cringe, this isn't Magic the Gathering, nerd. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, I really hope that there are some people that appreciates this format. Um, very similar to alpha investments. I know that's like cringy when you're small to be like, I'm doing it like this video. But um, I really kind of like just opening the packs and talking to you guys. Um, you know, just talking it out. All right, guys. So our luck's kind of catching back up. We got another white... Code card. Another fire energy, you know, that's what I like to see. Mighty Anna. Uh, Trump Peak. Hitmon Top. Uh, Wismer. Drillbur. Wallamer. Cottony. Uh, Clobopus. <laughs> Reverse. Hollow Stadium. Yes, guys. Yes, 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 yes. This is some luck that I've needed. So this is the Full Art Tokakis V. Uh, 
Whew. So what do I think about this card? I'm going to be honest. It, it's not the one I wanted, but I'm so glad to get something, guys, because it was like $40 for these dang packs, and I'm, and I'm down to three. And uh, as a, I think what we've gotten four hits to five non, and all the the three other hits were all hollows. So um, that's not something, uh, you know, sometimes you can forget that uh, that just because you get a white coat card doesn't mean you're getting something good. It just means you're getting a hollow. Um but, yeah, guys, I really, um, you know, I don't know how whole hog I'm on it because there's not a reason to send in, like, a probably a Tokikis V. Um, um, for grading, but, um, ooh, another white coat card, guys. Wow. So, five for five. Uh, there's, I got some wrong math. I either counted packs wrong or I counted, uh cards wrong so I don't know but um, yeah I think we're at 10 so I said 14 packs I'm pretty sure there was 12 I'll count after this but um, I didn't do the trick yet so four let's see what we get we got the steel energy Pinurchin Trumbeak Nessa again one two skidoo Puppet Guy, Pharaoh Seed, Joltik, Sandile, uh, Mighty Anna Reverse Hollow. Oh, yes! Yes, guys, yes. Got me some Pikachu love in the building. So Pikachu V. Now, this is not um, the full art, um, but... It's a it's a pickup, guys. I mean, that's that's what you want to see. If you got something like this every single pack, you, you would be happy. I mean, that's just the truth about it. So, I mean, and, and really, like when you talk about the voltage set, what kind of, what's synonymous with it? It's the it's the fat Pikachu. So again, the Pikachu um, out of the voltage, um, you know, nothing wrong with that. Ooh, green code card. So that was a streak. I mean, we went on a total rampage of uh, everything there. So Mudbray, Reverse Hollow, the rare Quacksire. Now, I always get confused, guys, and, and, and I hope I'm not wrong, but Quagsire does evolve into Wobbuffet, right? If uh, if I'm completely wrong on that, it's bad, but, like, you know, there's just always those few Pokemon that, like, get you, you know, that you just, like, don't know. You know, it's like Wobbuffet is iconic and I did learn like from some whatever he's like kind of a almost like a Japanese meme kind of deal from a stand-up comedian and so it's kind of cool that that's kind of integrated I mean you know it has no meaning to Americans and probably anyone outside the Japanese sphere of cultural influence but um you know how cool is it that um you know most products and things we make or you know that we indulge today are mostly American or you know Canadian or uh, kind of come from like a English sphere of influence like the language not necessarily like uh, you know Great Britain um, and and we have something that is uh, like Japanese like completely different culture not even a, a Western culture um, but someone maybe argue that it is a Western culture now because of uh, the events that transpired after World War II um, but again, I got a green code card, guys, so, uh, stinks to land on this, but, um, so, uh, tell stop at sight, um, it, uh, it's actually a pretty cool card, uh, Orbital V, like when, um, when, uh, this set first came out and people were doing new decks, um, I'm just kind of living in the past with the voltage, I, I liked it, um, and I did get the Charizard, um, uh, the um, one from Leon's um, battle deck or whatever you want to say the 
You know, of course, it's not the cracked dice or a hollow or anything like that, but I'm still actually going to sleeve it. Um, now, I can tell you right now, like, if you just look at, like, the condition, um, this is definitely from the Voltage, like, speed up print. I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, it's probably not going to. It looks fine there, but um, you can tell where, like, they cut, like, the cut marks on the card are still here. Um, so this is definitely like, you know, I hope that like, um, some of the other cards are fine, but like this one, for example, like if this was a hollow or this was say the rainbow rare chunk of chew, I'd be upset cause it would be a bad deal. But, um, guys, this video has went on forever and I apologize for that, but, um, I also haven't put out a video in a while. So, um, this is for all you OG uh, Pokey followers and all the under chin lovers out there. This is for you. All right, guys, peace out. Come again. Thank you. Come again.